Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is RimWorld, and we are here with the Hussar and Highmates, and of course their offspring like Killer here. He is a hybrid, no he's full-blooded Hussar, oh he's one of the rare exceptions. Here's a hybrid, Arslan, Arslan the Pirate. And let's see, gift from, oh, we just had a gift from some of our visitors, but as you can see, more importantly, we are currently focused on the deep drilling right now. So I'm watching this closely, and you know what got me thinking, all this pollution they're putting off, this should pollute the environment. They should uh, retrofit these deep drills to, you know, be pollutants, but I don't know, that would drastically affect in-game strategies, no doubt about it. Nonetheless, you can see it's given off a lot of what I guess is pollutants <laughs> but we are trying to stack some serious steel here there's about 300 on the ground i got another 1100 in our stash it's just so important you know and one of the things we are definitely working on is getting some more mech resurrector serums going so if we pull out a little bit we can see oh buddy's hard at work over here Ah, we've got a couple traders too coming in, but uh, yeah, we're working on some advanced components right now, and it's cr that's the big uh, essential ingredient here for the Mech Resurrector Serum. I'm going to bump that up to two, because currently that's our goal. We've got two corpses down here in the freezer, one and two. They're both melee pawns too, by the way. We've had bad luck with our melee combatants, but it's usually because I send them right off into battle with a very little concern for their health or safety. But um, I think these folks are coming to pick up a contract. And if I'm not mistaken, these are two. Yeah, it says a caravan. They're collecting contracted items. So we just need to wait until they pick up the goods and get to the edge of the map safely. Then they'll give us a little pop-up notification that our money has come through. And of course, if you're unfamiliar with the contract system, that's granted to us via the trading terminal and the vanilla trading expanded mod. So it's been a really fun one. It's helped us to accumulate quite a bit of wealth so far. Didn't really plan on this becoming, an, you know, one of my most wealthy colonies, but it's definitely turned out that way. Uh, whoopsie. I think I might have sold the product. I don't remember what it was, but, um, yeah, one of those caravans will not be fulfilling their payment because we, the, we didn't have the goods that they wanted. Imagine coming all this way in the dead of winter and the colony has sold for a cheaper price, probably. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that's just down to me forgetting, probably. Nonetheless, we do have a full stockpile. I mean, they couldn't find something that they wanted and just gave me a few silver for it. God, look at this. Okay, now this is more like it. We've got a notification this time for a deposit slip. There we go, 24k. That's pretty good, too. That's going to more than double what I've got. Nice. All right, so that'll get dropped off. Actually, no, we need to go back to our console. Where is that at? Here we go. We'll grab our little kiddo, and we'll have him open up the Imperial Bank tab. There we go. Now we can withdraw, confirm, because there is going to be a slight fee, 5%. But it's worth it, ultimately, and you can't get around it. There's no Bitcoin or crypto markets that you can skirt the uh, banks with here. Not, in the, not yet. I'm sure somebody will mod that in eventually. So now we receive the drop. Here it comes. Oh, it's a heavy load today, boys. What? Wait. Oh, we got... Yeah, we did end up getting it. I think it's it, some of it dropped directly into the stockpile. I just didn't know it. Wow, that was nice. I wish it would always do that, you know? Okay, we just got a group of visitors show up, some tribals, and as you can see, they're being greeted with a bunch of armed children, but it's not a hostile greeting. We actually want to trade with these guys before they get over there to the beds. All right, so I just grabbed some of the kids. Most of them actually have pretty decent socials. I didn't really pay attention. Some of these guys might be antisocial creeps like Arthas here. No offense, Arthas. That's just how some of us are born. Trust me, I know better than most. All right, here we go. So we're just going to go through the list. Since I'm suddenly so wealthy, we can afford to just buy. Like, and not, I'm not going to worry about selling them a single thing. I'm just buying anything they have for sale. That's it. Now, she, this one's got 400 extra silver to play around with. And we've got some chocolate milk, too. Oh, yes, my friend. That is a lovely looking cowboy hat you've got on. Light leather. 
excellent quality made right here in fact to prove it there's the little stack of silver he just dropped for it can't believe he got it that cheap honestly but that's okay it wasn't really that expensive for us to create he's also got a lovely beard going too doesn't he but uh yep just watching the the guests quite closely unfortunately a couple of those folks didn't have anything to trade but you can see that the guy we traded with has definitely made use of that silver he came in rented one of the luxury suites with its very own hot tub attached to it and he just bought that hat that was the guy with the hat and the beard yeah there he is well guys it is time another big resurrection event here in fact it's going to be a double resurrection i've got shepherd here and what i've started to do to make things a little easier is once these are completed we just pick them up and then bring them right next to the bodies you know so that there's there's no there's not much walking between that that way there's l the least amount of interruptions or potential problems like this guy right here is pro what's he doing He's probably coming to mess with these bodies. Yeah, or the serum itself. So he's going to get interrupted. Everybody's on standby while we do this. So let's grab, use this one. Resurrect our, our girl uh, Prissy here first. She is our waster orphan who was born to a, a prisoner. And we, we were forced between the choice of executing a baby or adopting her. So we went with the humane option nonetheless. Oh no. And she has been given dementia thanks to, I assume, the resurrection. But the good news is we do have a set up. We, I have a brain set aside just for this purpose. Now, the real test is going to be our boy. Uh, who is this? Wrench here. Oh, Wrench was a founding member no not really but he was a, a very important member for a long time so hopefully nothing's wrong with his brain let's oh, hold on see something's come up something's up here if he's not doing it then somebody's either coming down here to pick it up or mess with the body or something so what i'm going to do real quick is forbid both of these things to cancel whoever's doing it and then unforbid not you, Prissy. Get out of the way. All right. Now we'll prioritize using. There. Did that work? Yep. There we go. Because I guarantee the reason it wasn't working, there was some droid or a person coming down here to haul some, one of these two items, the body or the serum. So there we go. Now let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, okay. He's fine. His brain, he does have a scar, but this was, yeah, for something else. So that's a t that's tough because I only have one brain. That was the real issue, and I mean we don't have any current prisoners. I think we might. He's got Luciferium addiction. That should heal the brain scar, right? And I mean, if she's got dementia, who was it, Prissy, at the age of eighteen? I think she's a better candidate for a brain. I'm gonna make her a new eyeball too. Well, now speaking of Luciferium. I just noticed we're pretty low. We At one point, we had a stack of over 100 on this shelf, but um, we're down to 52. And as I resurrect more and more of these characters, we're going to have more and more addicted people. I don't know exactly how many we have. I could look that up real quick because we got one, two, three. I think, yeah, three Luciferium addicts. So ultimately, we still do have several more months probably to cover their addiction but you never know like i say if we get another dead pawn i might have to spend 14 more oh no i'm sorry eight more lucy you know just for another serum so it it, it does kind of go away quickly if you're using some of this advanced tech we've got from the sparkling worlds mod which by the way if you're interested that is how i was able to get these in the game it's called a Sparkling Worlds mod, and it's just the add-on for the serum crafting. There's a separate standalone for that, because the Sparkling Worlds mod itself adds a whole suite of weapons and all kinds of different stuff, and including, I think, its own faction as well. But I specifically wanted the serum production, so that's what I went with. It's a good little mod, and it should be linked down below, or I think in a previous video when I first got it, but I'll try and make sure to pin that comment. Anyway, we're looking pretty good, but... Uh, we are going to have to replenish our supply somehow. Maybe we could consider going out into the world, setting up some alternate colonies as we've done before. Or even, potentially, these ancient complexes might have some. But 
we run the risk of running of encountering some pretty hard challenges going to those depending on you know how how they spawned and what our wealth was at but yeah I'll, i've got to keep that at the front of my mind though we need more lucy all right well we just got a growth moment here for little leslie jr she is psychically sensitive i think i'm going with that and a few extra passions here but this actually reminded me that while i was kind of sorting some stuff out but in between recordings what's her name athena had a really good growth event so check this out i wanted to show you guys her traits now she is on on uh, track to be one of our melee pawns which doesn't mean she's necessarily going to die, but she might. Nonetheless, you can see she's a 20 melee at age 10, and she's nimble, and we just got the brawler trait on her most recent growth spurt, at, which was just a day or so ago. Like I said, what, just like right before I started. But um, yeah, I've just called in a couple of traders, so I'm excited about her growing up and all the kids, really. I'm definitely excited for them. But, you know, I was sitting here with all this money, and I was like, yeah, we need to get some traders in here. And this is a potential source for some Lucy. I think these exotic goods traders. So let's see. She doesn't have very good social. And honestly, right now, with the way prices are on some of these things, I want the very best social pawn I can get. So let's just see what we can buy from a couple of traders here. Actually, you know what? I want to go with the bulk goods first. See what their steel prices are looking like. Because as I've mentioned previously, the pl prices now fluctuate with that trading mod that we've installed. And so steel can, I mean, components are always ridiculously expensive. Look at that, over a thousand silver for one component. Tw a stack of 20 costs 20k. Damn. Yeah, I'm not buying those. Uh, but I am concerned with steel. Hmm. See, that's, oh, that's ridiculously expensive, kind of. I think isn't it yeah that's not good damn do i really want to spend that much on steel when we can just draw it out of the ground in time you know that's kind of how i'm thinking about it so i might just pass on it damn that sucks though like i said it's just going to take us extra time okay well i went through very carefully and i sold them all our clothing as you can see this is quite a big trade here and a bunch of other random nonsense too like some vitamin f and all the reinforced barrels that i've acquired but um i've taken i've kind of softened the blow here with the silver hit i am going to buy all their steel but now it's only costing us eight thousand i had about 17k in credit now built up so we're going to grab that I definitely don't need the plasteel. We've got close to 5,000 plasteel. I've been doing really well just conserving it and producing it and whatnot. But yeah, um, I might want some of their meat or food. Honestly, it's a good opportunity. I'll pay straight up for that. You know what I'm saying? Because with the guests we have and stuff like that, I don't really want beans. I'll take the beans. All right, yeah, but with the extra mouths we've got to feed and stuff, it's worth paying outright for that. So that's a good little trade. And that's just half of our current ships we got to trade with. So let's check out the exotic goods trader and see what they've got. Oh man, okay, well this one turns out to be a really good trade here too. You can see I've got it all lined up. And in fact, this was, like I said, a good option for the Lucy because he had a stack of 38 doesn't quite bring us back up to 100, but that's good enough for now. I'm also doing the Neural Heat Dump side trainer, which is an interesting note. I used to think this was a garbage ability, but now that I have used the psychics more and more, I realize it's good to have this. Because if, if we can, oftentimes we have more um, psychic power than we have neural heat capacity, you know? So we're limited by our heat overload this right here helps to alleviate that a bit you know it's limited and it messes with the other person you do it to i think it puts them in like a coma uh we'll have to look at it but it's definitely worth it and of course we got some lances a shield pack which is good and i went ahead and invested in some tech prints for more of the uh, bionics and stuff should be fun and you can see paying pretty much straight up for this but with this contract system it's it's not that difficult to replenish our silver supply so let's take a quick look oh there it comes two loads uh, all at once very nice now the most important question who gets to use the tech prints 
Okay, so this is starting to get a little concerning to me here. We've got over 600 tox packs. And this is just a stopgap measure. I don't have the atomizer or whatever it is the machine's called to destroy them. So we're going to have to get rid of these another way. And that brings us to the transport pods, which I have officially loaded up. You can see, I think they're both ready to go. Yeah, but regardless, what we will do now, you got to be careful about this. It might be best, too, if I bump these guys up to full fuel just to give us maximum options. But I haven't checked yet, so we're going to look together. But what we need to do is find an enemy faction that's a tribal. So the Wook, the Fierce Neanderthals, they're an option. Um, the Savage Impid tribes are probably better. Oh, okay, here's one up here. Let's go to this, get rid of that screen. Now, keeping in mind that toxic, like t polluting the globe like this, or tiles specifically, will affect other factions too if they're close enough. But this might be a good one here. We're gonna not gonna drop it literally on them, but it says that's okay. We'll just put it near them. Now, also notice there's a lot of pollution right here anyway. I don't know if that'll still make it, you know acceptable to anybody but there's one let's drop them both at the same time just like pulling off a band-aid get it all done in one clean sweep and you're good to go after that for a while very good now we do have 300 chem fuel i've been kind of laying off the chem fuel production just because we didn't need it but all right we do have a bill open as long as they stay above 200 they'll be okay by me but um let's see did we get any notification I don't know, but nonetheless, I'm going to reform our transport pods and we got a few more volleys to get through because each one of those only holds like 25, I think. Oh boy, it's a big day. Little Prissy has finally recovered from her resurrection sickness. Wrench has been up and about for a while, but he still, that Lucy still hasn't cured his brain, so I'm watching him closely, but... Her, we are going to take care of artificially, so to speak. So we're going to replace that brain. I got the bionic eye made. I've just been waiting for her to wake up, basically. Now, first things first, I'm making her go snort some yayo because she is a waster, and I don't really know when the last time she had some was. There we go. Beautiful. Now she's going to eat, and I think we're safe to just go ahead and unsuspend these two operations. She should be heading down here. Dementia is not the worst thing that can happen after resurrection. No doubt about that. Because I have had one of the kids who got killed, we resurrected. And I believe it was Leslie Jr. actually. And she ended up with resurrection psychosis, which caused her to go on murderous rampages like every third day. But uh, in the end, we got her a brain transplant too. Now let's see. Um... There she is. There's Prissy. Oh, good. She's coming on down here. So, again, this is something I'm going to watch closely, especially the brain transplant, which should... I'm going to grab Shepard. Yeah, good. He's coming down to do it. And, of course, she should be set to the Glitter World medicine that we've got. So, oh, look at this. Clarissa's pregnant. Isn't that amazing? Let's jump to that location real quick. So, it's Jean and Clarissa. As I pointed out recently, they are... Actually, aunt and nephew, which is gross, I know, I know, but that's how it is in a colony like this. Starts off generational, and it continues generationally. That's, that's just the results. But I am going to set her down to, let's see, reduce, yeah, to avoid pregnancy. Unfortunately, Cinderman's dead, so we don't have the need for that. But, um, okay, so she's going to have a kid, even at this low level, too. I guarantee you they'll still get pregnant. It's happened with Strong. Now, a dozen times, it feels like, because she's currently pregnant as well. Here's the baby. Going to be another fighter, no less. But um, anyway, like I said, I'm focused down here, making sure Shepard doesn't mess things up. All right, here goes the brain. This is the big one. The only fatality Shepard's ever had while doing an operation was a, it was on a brain. It wasn't a brain transplant, but he was given Vaz. Uh, advanced like um, something neuro calculator I think and he killed him but he's back to life and he was successful this time brand new brain you can see there's no dementia here which is good that's exactly what we wanted now she's sedated for due days when she wakes up she's going to be as good as new in fact even better 
Oh boy, well we got some more visitors here, and we did some pretty big trading with them. Again, I'm just trading whatever random stuff they brought with them. Giving them the extra silver, you can see that they're taking advantage of it too. This gentleman's got a couple hundred silver, and he used some of it to rent out. Oh yeah, yeah, the luxury suites. I'm telling you, whenever we get, whenever they have the silver on them, they will go for the more expensive options. They enjoy that. And those rooms are definitely worth it being extremely impressive with the hot tub and everything. But uh, they're also over here spending quite a bit of silver now on our food. And of course the shop itself, it's kind of bare. I used a bunch of our clothing earlier to trade with, but uh, we're refilling it slowly but surely. You can see I'm getting some parkas in here and stuff because we're in the height well actually we're coming into the spring but we are still pretty cold nonetheless everything's going pretty smooth we're actually i'm working on components pretty heavily i want to start generating even more of the bionics because we're getting into the heavier research too the more detailed and exotic type of bionics so i'd love to produce some of those before we end up calling it quits here with the series Oh no, poor Strong got locked in to our newest construction. As you can see, I finally filled out this corner. I was forced to use sandstone, but I'm going to double it up. Nonetheless, poor little Strong out here probably helping to haul something and got caught. This is in fact the little guy who was also subject to some frostbite early on. So, yeah, we're going to replace the hand, or probably both arms with bionics when he gets a little older. But um, that's okay. I've got, you can see, I've got the walls ordered to be deconstructed, so he won't be out here for too much longer. Oh, I think he's out here just doing some floor drawing, actually. Now I see it. Well, that's kind of your own fault, buddy. You should stay inside the compound for that. Although, technically, now this is part of the compound. And I didn't really expand for any other reason than just to kind of finally square out you know the thing it's not perfect obviously we've incorporated the bridge but this is as good as it's going to get now i guess i could actually install another bank here of residential house housing possibly up here i could get a row or yeah something we could work in it wouldn't be bad because as we get more and more kids grow up we're going to have more and more couples and a barrack style just doesn't work if you want to have you know two lovers with the mood bonuses and all the benefits that come from a married couple. Oh boy, we've got some action on our hands. We This is our first Dire Raid event, and it's got a strange name on it. I wonder if that's a conflict with the mod or just the way it's been coded, but you can see um, we've got 7,000 threat points. It actually says they're attacking immediately and they're arriving in transport pods that are scattered all over the area, which may work to our benefit, help us... You know, obviously some will drop inside the compound, so that's going to be tricky. But with our group of fighters and all their bionic legs, every one of them should have the bionic legs installed, if not better. And not to mention our thrumbo herd. We will probably be able to track them all down in time. And hopefully unusual tactics doesn't mean they're going to break right through our walls. Because if they go through the trap funnel, we should be fine. But anyway, enough talk. Let's deal with things. Oh, and sadly too, Strong has gone into labor at this very moment. Literally, I just initiated the childbirth. So I'm going to cancel that. And she's going to have to fight just along with the rest of us in labor or not. Oh boy, here's one down here in the corner where we just constructed this wall. So I've got a couple of melee people juiced up. I think we'll send them down here. I'm looking for some more of these. Good thing to do is just to zoom out, select them. Let's see, we got four drop pods on the map, but I don't see them. Um, there's gotta be some more inside the compound, you know? They might've broken through some of the roof too. I'm not sure, we'll just let things develop here. Like I said, oh dang it, killer just overdosed. Crap. Oh, he's only 16. That's right. Damn it, he's not 18. That could be bad. I could lay him out for the whole fight, but we'll just proceed. You can see I'm getting all our fighters up here. All right, here's the dude. Oh my god, he's got a war casket with a melee. Our two people. Oof, it's going to be rough, but we'll see how they do. It's gonna, I got Shay right here getting ready with her thrumbo herd. I just don't see any others right now. 
I'm gonna have to explicitly like search out each one of these arrows just to be safe. Okay, here comes the melee assault. Let's see how these guys do against the war casket. Arthur stuns them right away with that legendary longsword. You know, I think we got super lucky because there's nobody else in the compound that I can see. But um, dead killed him. Damn, I'm telling you what. Even with the war casket armor, he's no match for a legendary plasteel longsword. So that was our melee group. Let's keep them ready to go. Uh, there's another dude all the way up here, but he's just outside. He's right there. I've got a few people stationed in our, inside our little embrasures in case maybe they can reach him. Let's let things develop a little bit further. Okay, here's another one. Again, I'm not sure. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Crushed the right kidney right there. Handheld cannon. All right, we got to watch out. These guys have crazy range. No way. Well, this is good. We can kind of let them... What's he... Always oh, destroying our poop shoot. Dang it. They always do that. Again. Okay, okay. What's he doing? Is he going for the wall? Stealing wall light? Get the... Oh, my God. Stealing our wall light. This is what I need to do is just kind of watch the walls because that's eventually where they're all going to come to, you know? Now, what the hell is this guy doing? moving oh boy okay wait oh these guys are coming outside so they're i'm gonna try and have them just rush this one of these guys out here i don't know that guy looks like he's retreating so i'm not sure but pretty sure wrench still needs his go juice oh holy crap that guy didn't destroy the poop shoot he stole it look at that he straight picked it up i think they might be just stealing things and leaving Look at them. Moving. Yeah, they're leaving. What the hell did they take? I mean, they took the sewage outlet. That one guy stole a light. What a bunch of jerks. Yeah, he's just got my light there. I mean, that's easily replaceable. It costs like eight steel. He's got the most important thing. Oh, look, and because they... Uh, they didn't actually destroy it. It's not replaced with a blueprint like it's supposed to be. Well, that's going to be annoying. But um, at least we noticed it, right? Let's see. All right, there we go. We should be back in action. Unfortunately, the toilets are all down right now. But honestly, I think we're good. That was the easiest, most befuddling raid I've ever had. I was nervous there for a bit. But all right, guys. So it looks like we pulled through. With flying colors on that one let's release everybody we did have one casualty old morgan took one in the kidney but hey we're gonna be okay we'll recover and yeah there's all, they're all off the map now there's none of those little white arrows oh yeah there's two left he just left and <gasps> oh is it the dead one yeah okay it's pointing towards the corpse so we'll deal with that too oh look at that and we've even got time to get strong back in the hospital so things are going well here at the colony guys i don't know if there's really anything that rainy can do to set us back or even destroy this place but he will try so i appreciate you guys tuning in today hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you're down there and i will see you all on the next one